So I'm servicing my 7-iron deck, and the reason I'm servicing it is this past winter, and it's not a public video, but um, I'll have to post a link to it or edit some footage in. Uh, the drive shaft on my 60 broom got bound up uh, due to a little bit of scarring. Um, didn't get the grease quite on it like I should have after I bought it. And anyway, um, this is the drive shaft that failed. Um, and if you look at it, obviously that's not right. Um, and basically what happened is as this part of the, this half of the shaft was sliding in and out, um, it basically, you can kind of see some scoring on there, uh, and eventually just bound up. And when it bound up, um, I mean, you see what it did and just crumpled it. So that part new from deer, uh, is after tax like 287 bucks, something like that. So anyway, um, I picked up the seven iron deck to replace the, the 54 inch deck that I had uh, last year. Um, I haven't really mowed with the X748 all that much, um, but I picked up the seven iron deck. It's an older style deck based on the, um, based on the, the casters um, and the serial number. Uh, serial number, it's within the first 10,000 of them or so. Uh, I don't know how they did the serial numbers, but it's serial number is 12,600 and something looking at it. Um, so anyway, it's the tractor it came off of, it came off another X748, had about 50 hours on it. Um, and so this deck sat outside some uh, in that process. So I mean it's it's in it's in really nice shape, but at the same time uh, it's got some it's got a little bit of wear on it. Um, so anyway, what I decided to do today is just do some preventative maintenance on it. I mowed with it once already this year after kind of checking on everything, um, and after I mowed with it, got a little bit of uh, mowed with it for about 20 minutes, got a good feeling uh, for it and everything, and how it was set up and and everything else. Uh, decided that I need to go a little bit farther with the maintenance. So right now I'm actually. Because I had the drive shaft failure on the broom, I'm actually cleaning up this shaft with all of the, you can kind of see the, the grease and the grime, all the dirt and everything there. I'm cleaning it out and I'm going to re-grease everything. Uh, I think this zerk right here on that U-joint uh, is clogged, so I'll probably end up taking the drive shaft off and uh, cleaning that up a little bit. Um, and then I'm going you know, to grease all the, I've already checked the, gear oil level in the um, gearbox and uh, I've already greased the um, spindles and I'll probably go ahead and grease the wheels and everything else um, but yeah I just wanted to do a quick video to show you that um, when drive shafts fail they fail epically just like mine did and uh, you know I just want to do a little preventative maintenance so kind of a maintenance reminder on things you can do uh, a lot of guys uh, a lot of folks really I really complain about taking the decks out from underneath these machines um, and I understand that uh, I know it's a huge undertaking to take the decks on and off they're not light they're not small um, particularly you know the seven irons a drive over um, hey drive over is fantastic uh, you know you still have to hook the PTO up I know they got the auto connect system now well some guys have trouble with that but, you know, it's always good to take the deck off at least once or twice a year just to clean it up. Um, from, I mean, for instance, just one mowing, I mean, the 20 minutes worth of mowing for me, and I've already got, I mean, this is grass from the other day already stacked up. I mean, it's one of those things that if, you, if you're not paying attention and you let grass stack up, I mean, the performance of the deck is worse. And, um, you know, take it off at least twice a year, please. Um, you know, give them the maintenance they need. Can't tell you the number of machines I've picked up that, um, you know, if the owners would have taken the deck off once or twice a year, you know, they, they would have been much better. Or the number of decks that, you know, somebody wanted to put a front blade on while the deck was on there and the, the gauge wheels are ripped off and the deck's bent. You know, if you're going to do something other besides mow, take the deck off. Um, that's just kind of a personal opinion, but anyway... Um, I digress, so I'm going to uh, clean everything up here, and then I'll come back and show you everything that I did. And I mean, I don't think there's going to be much to see, but um, maybe sometime in the near future I'll do a 
video of the of mowing with it with the seven iron so anyway thanks for watching